Okay, so this video is going to be installing VSFTP and uh, sudo apt-get install VSFTP D. Mm -hmm. Obviously, I don't get to. Oh, I didn't like the fact that I capitalized it. Great, thanks. That's what you get for using Word to uh, write your directions down. It autocorrects your stuff. Alright, so uh, next command is going to wind up being sudo chown. That's going to be change ownership of the uh, folder. The reason why I'm doing this is because the um, the folder doesn't work. if uh, it doesn't have your username on it. So I need my username to be able to write to that folder or else I won't be able to FTP in and this www data is actually the user that runs the web service. If you're running uh, programs, if you're using PHP uh, scripting language, www data needs to uh, have the permission to write as well it's a server-sided script language, which means it changes stuff on the fly all the time. Let's get rid of that last technological. So that should be the right command. Now let's do um, cd var W, w. Oh no, let's do a cd var and then sudo ls dash al. Yeah, so it shows my username and it shows www dash data. Alright, let's change the write permissions here. Change it to the proper permissions. mod stands for change modify so it'll change modify the permissions these are actually permission 775 for www enter now let's do an ls dash al again and um, yeah 775 so let's explain what that means where's my notepad there's my notepad all right so there are uh, basic permissions there's a read write execute and that's actually what you see there is D R W X R W X R dash X. The D means that this is a folder or a directory. The R W X read write execute read write execute read and execute. Now, if you uh, if you change this, put a one anywhere that there's a command and a uh, zero where there isn't and you convert those ones in from binary to regular numbers 111 equals 7 111 equals 7 101 equals 5 in decimal numbers uh, so that's why we use chmod 775 so if I wanted the permissions to be let's say read write and then just execute and then just write and execute which would be silly but you could do it um, that would be 110 zero, 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 one, zero, one, one, which would be 6 1 3 
So that's how uh, octal permissions work. They're called uh, octal permissions because there's only eight possible combinations you can have with those uh, three permissions. All right, so I uh, also want to set a sticky bit. So let's do, oh, let's not do that. So if I do an ls-al again, oh, I don't want to do that. Where'd it go? Yeah. Uh, you can see in the group, there's a s there. Which means that anything that gets stuck in that folder will inherit those permissions as well. So when we actually go to FTP, we want to keep these permissions. I want to do the same thing with user. There we go. S and S. Alright, so let's move into the um, folder and we need to do a umask. Uh, umask will specify what the permissions are. Oh, good, they're already 002. So let's do this again here. Obviously we want to have 775, which um, for some reason it puts an extra thing in there. So 0002 means that uh, whatever it adds up to to make 777. So if you want to have 6. Six, three. Then your U mask should be one, one, four. And uh, everything that gets stuck in that folder will have the same permissions. Oh, let's move that back out of the way. So uh, you can change that actually by just doing U mask zero. 542, whatever you want it to be. And by default, anything you stick in that folder will have those permissions. Uh, Alright, so let's go ahead and uh, edit the, uh, the configuration file for vsftpd, which will be sudo vim etsy vsftpd.conf. And this is a little hard to read as well with this dark blue. But we're going to look for local enable yes, which is right here. Oh, need to hit the insert key. There we go. And remove the hashtag or pound sign in front of it. And then write enable yes, which is right here. And then there's a U mask in here as well. And you can see the U-mask is 022. We want to change it to 0. Whoop. Zero. Ah. Alright, I've gotten into the help file. There we go. So colon Q gets out of the help file again. Alright, so let's try this again because I had a function key. Uh, insert zero zero two. There we go. Now hit escape. Right quit and uh, restart VSFTPD which in the olden days would have been one of these INET D VSFTPD restart that doesn't work anymore so uh, gives you an error message and if you read it it'll tell you to do that instead sudo restart VSFTPD oh, 
spell check got me again. Lowercase s. There we go. And while we're doing this, let's do a sudo apt git install php mindman. Yes. And I'm going to pause the video here, and on the next part, we'll make sure all this works. Oh, wait, there we go. Look, it's asking a question. Uh, so, yes, we want to do Apache. So, hit the space bar to select Apache, because that's what the A in LAMP stands for. So, tab to OK, hit the space bar. If it's asking that, it's going to ask us for the login. So, configured PHP admin with the database login. So, yes password of the database's administrative user, which would be your root user. It asked you that way back during the install. Oh no, the first one is the login for the uh, PHP, my PHP admin login. This one's asking for the root user of the SQL database. Again, everybody has a different, every application has its own password. Alright, so I'm going to pause the video now and then we can check in the next video.